What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how you can get the alt store on iOS 14. Uh, the alt store is basically a side loading application that allows you to install third party IPAs, uh, third party applications essentially onto your device directly. It allows you to re-sign them every seven days as well so that they don't get revoked. And it's just a really cool application. Now to do this, we are gonna go ahead and jump onto my computer. And uh, as you can see here, for Mac or for Windows is the download. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Um, so if you are on Windows, go ahead and download that version. And if you're on Mac, download that version. Now if you guys are on Windows, um, I believe it's a different setup than what I'm gonna show you. So I would watch a different tutorial. This is for Mac only. Uh, so we can go ahead and download Mac OS and it jumps into our downloads. We can go ahead and open up our downloads and launch the alt server. So as you can see, alt server is an app downloaded from the internet. Go ahead and just open it. It's perfectly safe. And now on a side note, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your, your built-in mail application that's on your Mac here. And then you want to go to mail and then preferences. And then at the bottom of the general section here, there is manage plugins. Go ahead and click on that and you want to make sure the alt plugin mail bundle is checked on and enabled. Otherwise this will not work. So make sure that that is enabled within the mail application. Now we can go ahead and just close that out. And on the alt server little icon in your status bar, just click it. And as you can see, you have a few options here. You can launch alt server at login. You can uninstall the mail plugin. You can check for updates, you can quit the alt server, or as you can see here, you can install the alt store. And I have my 10s Max and my iPhone 10 connected to my computer, and I'm gonna go ahead and install it onto the iPhone 10. Now this is where you are going to basically log in with your Apple ID. This is 100% safe, it's only used to re-sign the applications um, when they expire, and they, that way they're not revoked essentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my Apple ID here really quickly. All right, now that I have my credentials in for my Apple ID, you literally just click on install, and I, I might get another pop-up here, yep. Installing Alt Store will revoke your iOS development certificate, blah, blah, blah. Just click on continue, and then I get another pop-up because I have it on another device currently. It's on the 10s Max. As you can see, apps installed with Alt Store on your other devices will stop working. I'll just click on continue. And now you guys should see here on my iPhone 10, the Alt Store will install. Just give it a few seconds here. It does take a little bit to load onto our iPhone. And there you go, there is the Alt Server. Now from here, you can literally just open up the application. I'm gonna say um, Alt Store needs to be updated here. So you can click on okay. Um, alt store would like to send notifications. I like to do don't allow for that. Uh, alt store would like to find and connect two devices on your local network. Yes. And this is the alt store. That's really all there is to it. You can get Delta from here. Um, here are, you know, featured section. You can actually add sources to the alt store to get, to get IPAs and third party applications. So there's like literally like sources you can add, which is pretty cool. It reminds me of Cydia. Um, you have your applications here. As you can see, mine expires in a year. That's because I do have a paid developer account. Um, for those of you that don't have the paid version, the free, it is good for seven days. So after seven days, just make sure that you come in here. You can you can literally just refresh it and it will re-sign it. And uh, you're good to go for another seven days. It's really slick how it works. Uh, like I said, I like to use this to get the Delta emulator and a few other third-party applications it's definitely a really cool app to have on iOS 14. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you how to get the Alt Store. Uh, again, like I said, the links for everything will be down in the description along with links for wallpapers and stuff like that. Be sure to check it out. You might be able to find some really cool stuff down there. But anyways, this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.